show you the certification schedule and requirements. You will all have uh, assignments and videos to do. Here it tells you how to send it at the end, but you send it as you go along. Is that under certification? Certification. And then after the one of our main program. So here, month one, you're sending me a direct <laughs> lesson of PFNTA, SRCKE, a video of me seeing you do the sound blending with someone, and a video of you teaching me ciphers, teaching ciphers. Then month two is blends. Uh, so I have visual evidence. You will be doing it anyhow, because you're going to be modeling with the teachers and then watching so you can have this. Then at the end of the year or whenever you finish all the assignments, you, send, uh, you, you will email it to me as you go along for feedback. Uh, but then at the end of the year, you get a certificate. You find this under Materials. professional development Materials. requirements of OG certification. That's not in dashboard? It downloads. It's a download. Yeah. It is you in click dashboard. on it, it downloads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I have a video release. I need it for you so I can uh, observe you and the students. Okay, so I'm in the dashboard and I go where to get what you're... Okay, you're in the dashboard. See where it says materials? Yes. Okay. That's okay, see where it says professional development? Homework is, hopefully we'll, you'll get that done today. And certification is a choice. You'll have to let me know who wants to do that. You don't have to let me know today, but you have to email me. Because I only take um, X amount because it's a lot of time. You'll get comments for me sometimes at 3 in the morning. Uh, teachers who go through it find it remarkable. Okay, so just things for you to know about. We've been working on phonics this morning, so go under materials, phonics. Just so you don't panic. And by the way, for the lesson plans, you can send me the workbook, copies of it, but I need student work. That's the difference, okay? Um, so go under phonics and you will see the word for minute drill. You'll see cards if you want to send ch some children, let's say, who aren't learning the letters, put it on an index card, it's in color. You don't have to buy them a whole set. You can put them on there. So there's the lesson plan template again. Everybody see it? The visual drill card for blends and digraphs and for consonants and short vowels, if you want to send it home for study. Uh, the tactile drill with all the instructions, which is in your manual. Sound dictation templates, more fluency word lists. Um, a lot of word per minute charts. And the sight words. So you can use it the way we taught it, or if the teacher is doing it in her classroom, she could just have them read it and put it on a card. By the way, if you put a sight word on a card with red marker and use hot glue, it'll raise it, just like this. So here are the sight words, the sight word template, all the sight words in the modules. Take some time and look through it. Okay, so now we're going to go to my Max, and we're going to actually be a student, and we're going to go to Module 2. What I want you to know also, let's say the teacher, I have teachers that in their explicit lesson have the children around the computer too, because you're going to have to teach them how to use the computer, you just can't put them on it. And what you're hearing is something you're going to need, headset, for the children. So everybody click on Max Phonics. I see some people got there. And then you're going to go to the second finger, and you're going to do the P, F, N, T, and A. 
So what I want to show you is what you did as a teacher explicitly. You can apply to the software and the child can practice it. And you, for those ones that don't know the letters, it's a miracle because it will keep taking them back. And it will tell you on your reports how many it took. So let's scroll down to two fingers. So you're going to do PFN TNA. You're going to click on it. Okay, and you're ready to begin. Hello. So trace it in the sand with your finger or your mouse. That You have to use a mouse yeah. to go in. Okay, so now you trace it with the mouse. And you should stay down, up, and around. When you get to that, you have to put all the microphones on to see it starts like. Always when you get to the phonemic awareness, click on the microphone. Because we're building language too. Okay, you're clicking on all of the speakers and making the children because it also teaches vocab. Yes. Okay. So now you're going to get a quiz. See how you get a quiz after everyone? Let's go. So you see the letter quiz. So I'm clicking on something. Are you on Google Chrome? Mm -hmm. His, what was this? So you have, if you have five, you get a dust. Oh, okay. I don't find out four. Okay. Yeah, so that's why it didn't let you do that one. You have to get them all right. I got them all right. Okay. Five, four, five. Oh, okay. Did you do this no. one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, when that happens, you'll send something like this. So write something. Okay. So why isn't this move back? Because you have to go with the thing. I got to put it down and put it down. They need a mouse. I mean, oh, usually. Okay. Okay. So you see, it's drilled a mastery. Now, if they rush through it, they're going to have and make mistakes. They got to do it again. There's, on the pictures for phonemic awareness, you have like 5,000 of them. If they go back and do it again, they're going to get different vocabulary. The teacher, uh, okay, I was you can go about right to A. Okay. But so for the students, it won't let them right. do the next exercise until they go to this. Uh, that was a good question because I thought the same thing. It was letting me skip exercise. Because it's an administrative license, so if you want to teach A, you can choose it. But a student cannot. It's going to force them to go in order. Right. Now, the placement test has a lot of this. It doesn't have the blending and all that. It has this. So you have to really walk around because they might just do the pictures without the voice. So you want to see if where they are on this because it will give you a whole report. So this answers your question if you have some children that need more time on the letter. The computer doesn't get tired and has more time than you do or the teacher. And again, you would want to walk around at the beginning and show them on the smart board and have them work, work with you on it before, you, it takes about a month before the teacher lets them do it on their own. When you've done PFN TNA, and if you want, you can go to the review. And there you have the auditory motor drill. So we do the visual, tactile, and kinesthetic before we go to the auditory drill like we talked about. So when you're on, like with Anne, when they're on the screen, everybody, you're going to have them go in the air, round, up, and down. Okay? And when she's on the F, I want her to say half around, down, and across. You're still taking those strategies. Vocabulary is a big issue 
They come in, poor like, readers with 20,000 less than that. They would probably say, right. So the phonemic awareness is also the built-in of the vocabulary in Orton Gillingham. Orton Gillingham is big on vocabulary. When they learn all their letters and sounds, and if you want, you can go to the review. Why is the software good? You might not have the attention when you're talking to the child, but they've got to do it right or they're going to have to do it again. So they're engaged in it. So now you listen to the computer read it to you, and then they practice the word per minute themselves internally, like you take a bike out of yourself. Notice on the auditory motor, which is uh, Sarah's screen, if you type it in wrong, you'll have to do it again. I'm trying to do it again. Yeah. yeah. So it's focusing those children, and it gives them more drill and practice. And some will really just start to take off on it, and some might need more time. And then at the end of the quiz, you're going to send me a screenshot with your name, your school, put Okaloosa. When you finish the quiz, you go to the review, and then you have all the other steps that we went over this morning. So now you see how helpful this can be. You go to dashboard for the materials, and you'll learn after they take the placement test and work on it, we're going to go over progress monitoring and reports. After the master quiz, we'll all have NTA that where it says correct, 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 you send it to me. Okay. And you put me up then to you. Dr. Levy at maxscholar.com. And put your name, Okaloosa, full name, and uh, the school you work at. Yes. So when it comes to computer, one day phonics, one day comprehension. But you'll have to motivate them or the teachers in the classroom. When they have extra time, they can go on this. Because the more they practice, the better they're going to get. I usually like uh, where I see the best results is 30 minutes a day on the software and 30 minutes a day of the experience. What, what are your recommendations? Because, I mean, kindergarten are starting at 30 minutes of computer at like early in the year is probably pushing it. You'll have to see, so but you have to do it. You have kids. to do it with them on the computer for a month. Mm -hmm. You don't just put them on it. So right, they'll be right. on it with you. You can even do it in their explicit. Then after a month they learn it. On the index card, the first one you're gonna write the word what. The second one when. The third one where or whatever. Okay, so this is what Ann gave you index cards in a black sharpie. Not a cipher, only red is cipher. Yeah, so now we're going to go back to my Max, everybody, and go to Max Reading. The children will take two tests. So scroll all the way down. One will be on phonics, which you have to monitor, and one will be on Max Reading. Every child will be required to complete one or more workbooks. As I said, it takes about a month before they can be independent with it. I will also show you where you can send home a letter or that every parent will get a free license. So it's great for parent engagement to bring them in, let the children show them how to do it, let them go on it, and I'll show you where they write their information to get a free license. So parents have to go <coughs> on MaxScholar.com to get the license, because kids are going to log in on class night. Oh, parents will get their own username and password. They will go in through class. I'll show you. It's on settings. You'll have to have them do it during a parent conference or something. Number nine is controlled readers and or max reading once they get through it. So your kindergartners are going to have to start with level zero. So everybody click level zero and go to prep one. 
and go yes. to Treasure oh, Master yes. Quiz. Right. Now, see how I can uh, log into a child's email uh, account and I can see their grade, or we'll show you how they do report. When I looked at your math test, what I could interpret, most of them had trouble with knowing what a topic, main idea, and details are. And that's what you're going to be monitoring. And that's what we teach in Morton Gillingham in the number nine of comprehension. So in the phonics module, they'll do the controlled readers for decoding. But for meaning, vocabulary, and comprehension, they do max reading. And the, more, the kids who really do a lot of max reading really level up because the computer will level them up when they get 80% done with a good, at least 80%. Otherwise, they'll just get more drill and practice. You can intervene, and I'll show you on the settings how you can intervene. But we do this as a guided during your explicit. The, your level one speak in very short sentences and may have a little bit of difficulty. But this is very important. Remember, Max Scholar Orton Gillingham has taken the best of what's out there and incorporated it. So it's a very strong intervention because everything is here. And in my learning center, most of my kids testing out on one usually have the decoding issue, which you saw in the phonics and all the steps, but also usually have some language and vocabulary issues. So prep one and prep two, and you, I do, as you saw in your license, you can do anything. And it's a, a great way to do a group like a group lesson or what I call guidance. So I'm going to take my structure words, and if you look at visualizing and retelling, it'll tell you what it will help. Auditory processing, processing speed, uh, oral language comprehension, language expression, written language, and abstract. So in level K and prep one, and two, you're getting them to understand the language of the picture. We all picture words in our mind. Let's first start by picturing the word football game. So you're getting them to form images, because research shows if you can't form an image of when you read, you're not going to comprehend too well. So you could start with uh, just regular types of vocabulary words, but then on the level zero, so this is how I could do this in a small group, even on a computer. You don't have to have a smart board. Where is this taking place? A cave, okay. And when do you think this took place, Eleanor? <laughs> you think it was morning or night? Probably during the day. During the day, okay. And um, Anne, how many people do you see in the picture? And I hold up my number card. Four. Four. Now, you don't have to do all 13. I'm not going to do sound or movement. But I would teach them perspective, which is your opinion. So... Crystal, what's your opinion on how the boy's parents feel versus the boy? The boy's really excited, but his parents are kind of apprehensive. Oh, we got a gifted one here. Okay. <laughs> and so what would you say, Anne, is the mood? Next. <laughs> Next, as Crystal said, some are ha ha happy, but some aren't. I go back to what? And what do you think the boy is going to do? It looks like he's about to take some of the treasure. He's going to take the treasure home. Okay. You get the student to come up, close their eyes, and visualize and verbalize the story. Make it loud.
So the topic is one or two words. We first do it together, then they do it themselves. You can unlock it to this level. Come and do the next one. So when it's details, it's not like the most important detail. We're getting them to look at details. And you can always go back to the picture. Okay. So see how their language comes into comprehension? Very, very effective. So do scared. No. No. Um, so you're, t you're doing oracy before literacy, but you're teaching the strategy of topic, main idea, and inferences. And you'll see on your reports that they rush through it. Oh, we got more. Okay. The vocabulary. So it just gives you a lot of questions. Then look at the redo. You can, you know, we're all supposed to conference with our students in every district. You can just log in and see their scores. If you see a score that's not great, redo it. Because in kindergarten, we're looking more for them to learn the concept of topic, main idea, details, inferences, and vocab. When they get those good grades, if they don't, they'll want to redo it and get a good grade. So, you know, you can have the best program in the world, but if the kids don't buy into it and get motivated, it's not as effective. And they do get very motivated with this. I want you to know that on every reading comprehension story and every picture, you can print it out. If you go to professional development, and I want you, while you're waiting, to play around with all these. And if you go to implementation guidelines after the homework. Number one, I've given you lesson plans for 60 minutes a day and 30 minutes a day. Which has the guided and the children on the software. See how I did next scholar guidelines in grades one, K1 and 2? Just scroll down and it will tell you what to do, what you need. And in the back, I gave you a lot of printables of those pictures where they can write a sentence. And you can through materials. So the beginning part of it, it's called Max Scholar Implementation I gave you a lot of things that you are, you're not allowed to copy the workbook that you are allowed to do. It says guided reading session lesson plan. It'll say when to do PFNTA, when, when they practice it on the computer. And by the way, with their username and password, what you need to check out on Clever, can they also, because you can do this on a phone. I'm used to not using Clever, so, because uh, they all have phones, no matter what the level of poverty. So they can do this even on their mobile phone. iPads, Chromebooks, anything. Pardon? Okay. Good. So, uh, then you're going to have stories like this, which relates to the phonics and the cycle. Now, a very good way to also teach the sight words, everybody look at me, is they circle it. They circle all the sight words and, all the and underline all the decodable words. There's a lot of creative ways you can do to integrate what you're teaching in isolation to text. Because at the end of the day, I think we're monitoring on the math test, right? Mm -hmm. Most of it is, is comprehension, is that correct? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Not so they have to integrate. Okay, so let's all know where to go. I'm going to do it again. How do we log in? MaxScholar.com. Then what do we do? You're going to first have your dashboard. So what do you do next? My Max. 
Okay, so now everybody go to my Max and go to Max Reading. Prep zero, level zero, prep three. Do you see where you can print it out? Okay, and now I want the font bigger, so click on A. Now put on the voice, the microphone, because we're working on porosity. And put on your speaker. See how we're working on phrase reading? Jack goes up in the sky. She sees Tim on the plane. They have fun on the jet. They do not want the ride to end. So they can practice reading it with the partner with porosity. So they don't read like this. You can print it to take it home. Go to next. Now they learn to highlight. Just skip it because I'm going to show you how to do it. So the topic is one word, or sometimes two, and it's always blue. We always have the kinesthetic, and the color of the highlighting activates the visual memory of the brain where these kids activate their frontal lobe to pay more attention, but they also activate the visual memory for better spelling. So click on the topic, and what is it about? What's the topic? In the first sentence, what would you highlight? What word? What is this? A jet. A jet. So left click, jet, and you left click it. Oh. And then jet comes up as your what, everybody? Topic. Topic. Then click main idea. And for low reading stories, it's usually within it. Okay, so click on Meg goes on a jet. So it's going to be about Meg going on a jet. Now we do details. We only do decodable words unless the sight word affects the sentence. So where are your cards? Oh, right here. So. What color is the jet? It's red. So highlight that in yellow. Jet red. Okay, and click done. Now they will get a score. Well, you did very well. They get the most points. What a gifting group. Uh, they get uh, the most important thing is the topic and the main idea. And let me tell you, I would really bet that none of your kids know this. And this is going to be a hard thing that you're going to have to do a lot of explicit teaching on. Because if they don't understand what's the main idea and what is it about, they're just trying to memorize everything, just like they do the words. So they get 100% for topic and main idea. For details, it's subjective. Uh, so, it's, you know, they will give you um, the score. So... Uh, but it doesn't really, you know, they'll show you the other way to do it, but don't pay that much heed to it. But it's also good, scroll up, because you can see the the and goes and in and they and have and show them how that really makes a sentence. So you're reverse teaching sight words. Okay, and so now you go to the questions. Through second grade, there is a read aloud. After second grade, there is not. One chance to answer so turn on the question. speaker. Make sure you read all the possible speakers answers. on the bottom. Now, see how they get the yellow and you are correct? Motivating. You want to teach them if they don't know it, don't guess, go back to text. And you can see if you scroll that the jet is red. So go back to questions. That's a very important feature. And it's on every benchmark, textual evidence. To answer each question. So Make now sure you can just click all the possible and great. So now we go to explicit and implicit comprehension. So that's ex explicit, but this is implicit. How are they alike? They both what? Are on a jet. They both are on a jet. Right. But you would have the students read it all and learn not to rush and learn to go back. <laughs> Why do they not want the ride to end? They are having fun. They are having fun. Okay. Always at the end is what? Vocabulary. Vocabulary.
What is a jet? Okay. So this is the highlighting piece and it is important. Use your chapter score. Yes. Okay, so you can send me this, Megan, the jet, but I want everybody to do three stories of highlighting in prep three. And by the way, this list and the visualizing and verbalizing is in the materials under max reading if you lose it. And the children will get it wrong at first, but it'll show them and then you have them redo it. Because if they don't get 80%, they're, they're going to have to stay at that level unless you unlock it. So for kindergarten, you would do the explicit, go over the manuals, go over the lesson plan, and most of all, go over the workbook. Because that's going to be what you're checking along with what you're checking on the software. Then you get them on the software and they're going to send you screenshots. So we know that they know how to work the program. I think they're really going to like it. I think it just might take a little time for them to kind of internalize how to use it with kindergartners going really slowly, you know, because um, they're not going to get to all this off the bat. And I think teachers should go through it because they need to see the end in mind, you know, and then know where they're going. But I think we just have to make sure that they, we, they know that we understand clearly that, you know, their students are not going to be doing all of this in the first week, please. <laughs> right. So, what is expected is they finish this book by the end of the year. And it's important that you know all the different steps of an OG lesson plan. A lot of this is reviewed in here, but I think you'll find that manual to be very, very helpful. So we don't expect you to do all nine steps of it, but you're going to split it up and they're going to, you're going to, I do, we do, and you do. The you do will be the software. And I will be monitoring that too. Then, Depending if you're going to go ahead and get certified, you're going to be sending me every month certain things, and then we will meet every month for like an hour or so to go over and questions. We're just going to do a webinar, right, at the coach meeting every month. Right, that's how we're going to handle that one. And then we want them to go onto the comprehension of the kindergartners at first with the visualizing and verbalizing and the prep. The prep one, prep two, and hopefully by the end of the year or mid, they'll go into prep three, where they're actually decoded. They're just decodable readers, and you have plenty of them. The sight words, that just has them in line, and you, for some children, you just might have them read it and put on cards with, hot, uh, with red to study the ones they don't. What are these called? Structure charts. You can use them for oral, but you could also use them when they're highlighted. Could you go over one more time the sequence of things I'm going to share with the kindergarten teachers? I didn't get them written down. I know they're supposed to explore the software. Was your last step? So they're going to know what is a visual drill, how to use the cards. If they are short on time, they can do the visual, tactile, kinesthetic drill, and the auditory drill. So they're going to work the workbook, and then they're going to work the software on the phonics. One day, they might just do work on sight words in their 30-minute explicit direct instruction. Depending how far they go, they'll work on control readers, the spelling. So you're dividing it up. They're not doing all nine steps. But they have to understand the workbook, and you have to have them fill it out just like I did with you. Because otherwise, the tendency of teachers is to say, go do your workbook. But that's an Orton Dillingham lesson plan, so it has to be teacher-directed. Okay, so it's very important that they understand the work. 
there you're going to go into the max reading and they're going to do their structure words. You're going to put them on the software and show them how to do prep one and prep two with pictures and prep three with highlighting. You need to make sure they all know how to highlight and can do some independently like I'm asking you to do. And then of course you're going to have them send a whole sequence of PFNTA or SRCKE for kindergarten and then we'll go what first grade. But first grade, when you're going to go through that test placement test, we might have to put some of those first graders in the phonics books and not the blend. Because if they don't learn those consonants and sounds, a blend is two consonants where you hear two sounds. So that's why I say that, you know, I sent you workbooks, but you're probably going to be, you have no kindergarten workbooks right now. Because we, we just have the main ones. Yeah. But you may wind up putting some, using some of those kindergarten workbooks that, I, you know, some of those ordered. kids are going to be ordered from me. You'll have to now just be ordered more kindergarten workbooks. Um, but so basically, they don't really need to go into the workbooks until they finish the placement test. Because we don't want to waste workbooks. You know what right. I mean? I have some, you know, you might find that you're going to tell me I need 10 kindergarten workbooks for my first grade. But then you've got 10 extra first grade workbooks in your building that you can give to second grade. You know, eventually it will play out. Next year we'll kind of know where the kids all are, except for new kids. But this year we're kind of shooting at the dark. And that's why I just ordered what, you know, I needed.